Welcome back to Secret Files. Uh, we are fresh off the last episode where we learnt how to not care for a child, especially one that has the uh, power to do anything. Let's look at our friends. Well done, young man. I know I'm good, boss. Okay, I'm also modest, as you can tell. With a reality distorting anomaly classified as Keter, it would seem keeping the subject in a state of comatose is the only viable solution. Oh no. Oh no. <coughs> I am so sorry. When I handed this task to you, I was frankly rather worried about whether or not you'd be able to complete it. It seems you are ready. What did I actually do? Did he just document it? Because it was the D class that went and did all the bits. Carl, someone wants to talk to you. Ooh. Hello. Who are you? Doesn't matter who I am, what matters is, who are you? Carl is just a name. Symbol. I am the one who will guide you to the answers. Is this the... Is this a member of O5? What should I do? First, you'll need to complete some warm-up exercises. Take the elevator to the 15th floor. <gasps> I'm Carl! I'm finally Carl! Like, as in just Carl. I've got a lot going on at this desk, actually. Uh, I didn't properly look at it when I first got here. Top secret SCP anomaly collection. I feel like putting the words top secret on a book of this size. <laughs> And this flashy is a bit uh, counterproductive. I'm just I can't get it. Why are they making plushies of these supposed very dangerous things? Uh... Oh no! I remember it said 15th floor. Uh... Excuse me, why, Monsieur? Goodbye. Site 105, 11/13/2012. Oh my God, it's the end of days. Oh. Let's see what secret bread. Don't bake bread in the lounge. Don't you feel nausea yet? 0426. Picture of bread. There's a fan. There's a clock. Oh, I have a phone. You'll have to follow my instructions. Do exactly as I say. There is an access card on the desk. Take it and exit through the door on the other side. The passcode is 0426. Of course, the Foundation owns the high technology of indestructible phones. Level 3 clearance. Wow, I'm moving up in the world. Oh. Four. Two, six. <laughs> Yay! I like the uh, aesthetic that they got going around the Foundation. I mean, it's not anything that you wouldn't expect, but like a lot of um, a lot of SCP projects tend to make them look like the exact same because like Containment Breach, the game came out ages ago and then like pretty much every SCP game followed suit from that and designed their like aesthetics from that because that kind of became like what it's meant to look like. So this is nice. It's not awfully different. Hi. Secure, contain, protect. Item, SCP-426, Object Class Euclid. Confidentiality Level 3. All non-Level D staff covered in this manual have had their identities obscured. The events recorded in this manual can be accessed via the Digital library level free authorization required. Use of this manual is covered by the confidentiality clause. Any staff found in breach of the clause will be subject to immediate demotion. Confirm. Wrong button. Ah, okay. This he's looking awfully uh square. Test subject D081. Named Jason Grayus, is a 28-year-old black male in good health with no history of mental illness. He was sentenced to life imprisonment for murder, nicknamed Chimney. His psychological condition was normal before he entered sight. However, he developed a negative pessimistic tendencies while in prison, along with severe symptoms of nicotine addiction. Why is he called Chimney? He ain't no Santa. He murdered someone. Jaded, skeptical, and exhausted. Life and living are tough. 
when being awake and asleep are no longer regular. Only I hate how this episode is making me read at a pace that I would not read at because the text is so fucking slow. Only smoking can get me out of bed. Oh well, that's a sign of a healthy mind and healthy body right there. The game's really changed up its uh, approach here. Yeah. On small single bed, but cozier than one in jail. This is jail. Kind of. They didn't even provide a mirror. I don't need to see my face. Nah. You're not much of a looker, fella. You're square. Why do they give us something that we won't even have the chance to use? I need to... I need to smoke on the toilet first? Okay. Any particular reason why he specifically has to be on the toilet? Got the cigarette pack. Okay. At least you're still alive. That's right, man. I've been paying attention. You know I can feel your life energy. What? Not just yours, but all lives. The transitions that happen. Making the most of life transitions is a beautiful thing. And they exist in abundance here. Jesus Christ, uh, someone's been used in one too many experiments. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> they always lead to unknown opportunities where everything is uncertain. You can see the man-made chaos distorted by another force that can't be called life. Idiot. Anyway, at least you're still alive. Yeah, what a great ending. Oh, God. That toilet is minging. D081, time for your task. Let me finish this cigarette. Let me finish me biff, la. Come on, give me a break. I always follow orders, don't I? I can't even smoke anymore. Hurry up. Damn it. Damn it, can't even have a biff in prison in peace. Look, he looks fucking absolutely so sad. Okay. Kinda creepy that the camera's following me. Hi. No? Hi. No? Okay. This is weird. The whole top-down perspective is, uh... Strange. To say the least. Get ready. Ah, I get it. Security check. What can I... What can you detect in this thing, anyway? No weapons, no metal, no smoking in the observation room. No smoking? You have something against me, huh? Show his hands. D081, I can hear you. What do you want me to do this time? There's a room on the bottom floor. Attack is, uh, is to enter the room and observe the object on the table. Come back and report your findings once you've completed the observation. Do you understand? Yes, Bows. SCP Foundation is full of fucking freaks. Yeah, I just wanted to leave you with that one. I fucking run like I've got blue balls. <laughs> Yo, Doctor, hello. Can you hear me? There's nothing wrong, right? It is a toaster. Oh, I can make it to the toast. Looks like what I need to observe is in here. What the hell is this? It's toast. I'll have a cigarette first. Where are my cigarettes? I'll never guess where I hid my cigarettes. Was it... Was it in my anal cavity? Damn, that's good. Well, that was funky. You can start reporting. Well, on the table, I'm a toaster. Come again. I'm a toaster. I'm about seven inches wide and six inches tall, and I'm made of stainless steel. Anything else? What else? I'm not sure what else you want me to say. Anything else? I'm not sure what else you want me to say. I'm a toaster. Put bread in my slot and I'll make a perfect fucking piece of toast. <laughs> Good, you can go back to your room now. Good. What did I just say? So... So, so, so I'm, a, I'm a toaster. So I, I suppose I can live with that. Hey Jimmy, there's something different, something, some wonderful smell on you. What is it? I sense it now. You're going to experience a new life, a different kind of existence. Shit, that sounds fucked up, man. You've changed. You are no longer bound by limitations. There's no beginning and no end, only chaos. Mate, I looked at a toaster, calm down. Can you shut up? Is this the end of life? I don't know. Maybe you're evolving. Why am I even trying to understand what you're saying? You're feeling different now, right? Well, I feel like I can make perfect fucking bread now, so that's great. Life needs motivation. Maybe you just need a cigarette. A cigarette? No. No, no. 
I don't need a cigarette. I need to charge up. Oh my god, because I am. Um, I'm a toaster. Wow, okay. <laughs> I'm a toaster. I need to charge. Yes, yes, I gotta charge myself up. Of course I do, I'm a toaster. What else would I need to do? Give me all these cigarettes, but no plug. What kind of men are they? Maybe I can make myself one. Yes. Got a piece of cloth. Got a pipe. Okay. I need to figure out how to make a plug. Okay, okay. I can do this. I'm going to plug myself in. And I'm going to become the greatest toast-making machine that the world has ever seen. That one. Uh, that one. That one. Why can't I press a button? Yep. Yep. Huzzah. Good. This is it. I can't wait to charge. <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> oh, that was ridiculous. Oh no, we can't put an old woman through this. Dorothy Wilson? How old are we, Dorothy? How old? 65. She looks a tad bit older than 65, I can't lie. How did she end up here? D82 was diagnosed with lymphoma. I can't fucking read. Cancer before she was recruited by the foundation. She was clear for testing after the confinement. Wow, okay. Miss Wilson? Miss Wilson? What happened, dear? I fell asleep. I'm sorry. Maybe I misheard you were shouting. Oh, how rude of me. What was I yelling about? Every time I fell asleep, I think I'll never wake up again. You were yelling? Bread. Give me bread. I dreamt about my children. <laughs> Children? Is it because she's a toaster? Her children is toast? Seven months ago, I was diagnosed with cancer. Oh my god, I'm sorry to hear that. Miss Wilson. I've made a lot of mistakes in my life. I came here on my own free will, you know. I think of this as a kind of redemption. Oh, sorry, we can't chat anymore. I can tell you more about my children next time. I'll give you a full description on the on my bread. I want to... People should take care of how they look, even when they're old. I wish everyone thinks like this. I mean, yeah. Skincare, man. It's important. Time for your task. Hello, young man. You don't look very happy today. What happened? I'm not going back to that empty room for another day, am I? You don't want to entertain an old lady with conversation, pal? I know I shouldn't complain, but it's awfully boring. Don't mind me nagging. You know I don't have much time left. I can't wait to become toast. I'm going to be... The most fabulous toaster since the guy that plugged himself into a wall. Now, earlier I talked about how it was good, clever that these different art styles and kind of gameplays to uh, showcase different SCPs better. I'm not saying this isn't that, I just, I, uh, the correlation, I guess because the whole toaster thing is silly and this is kind of like a more silly art style, but that's all I got for that. I can't really connect any more dots. You'll be in the innermost room today. Your task is to observe the object on the table. Then come back here and report your findings. <laughs> okay. I am ready. There it is. This looks familiar, I'm sure. Oh, this is my tinnitus flaring up. Or did I just hear something wonderful? I love that tune. You can start your report. To be honest, I'm not sure this is what you need, dear. Start your report. Well, I'm a toaster. About this wide and this high. Oh, and my youngest daughter uses the same model as me. <laughs> oh, I'm teal green. I think I look good in this colour. Yes, yes. I like this coat of paint. I think I can still work. Hmm, what else? That's all I can say. Sorry, I'm not as observant as I used to be. It's so hard to be observant when you're just creating the glories of toast all day. This is wonderful. I love this. Hey, Miss Wilson. How are you feeling? Is it? Is this fucking dude just like watching all these people become toasters? How do you feel after that task? Oh, I feel not too bad. Yes, I feel like I'm good. At least they get a high before the end. I feel good. I feel great. Yes, wonderful. I have to do something. What do you mean you have to do something? Uh, uh. Miss Wilson? Miss Wilson? You know what? There's been a little voice in my head. I think it's time for me to fulfill my duty. I'm a toaster. Time to work. Oh, wonderful. 
Yes! There's not enough bread in this toast. There's never enough bread in toast, man. I require more bread. Maybe I should return the stolen access card under the pill. What? Oh, no way. <laughs> okay. Yes! The bread! Give me thine bread! Yummy, um... Work! I must create toast. Ah, oh, yum. I love it. Allow me to have more bread. Bread, bread, work, work! I am, an, I am a workaholic toaster. This is not enough. I can toast more. I am just a, a master of toasting. What the hell am I meant to say about this? That... That's a... That's a lot of bread. Yummy, yummy, yum. Please, 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 please. Oh, am I, am I getting fat? Oh, I'm getting all girthy. Thick old lady, anyone? Oh, Jesus. Oh, why is this bread taking so long to toast? I know, let's put more in. Yummy, yummy, yummy. <laughs> That was so cruel to do to a woman that put herself there voluntarily. Develop hallucinations, 50 minutes after returning to her cell, she believed she was a toaster. Eh, same story, kind of. The autopsy found 16 kg of undigested bread in her stomach. That is fucking rancid. Oh, uh, let's see. Death subject D83. Adam Maria. Old white male with no history of mental illness. He was sentenced to life imprisonment for murder. So, we've had murderer, random old woman, and murderer. Although I suppose the old woman had people commit suicide, which I guess is like murder. You're awake. Get yourself ready for love. What the hell am I doing here? What did you do to me? No one has done anything to you. Ha! <laughs> That's convincing. Do you think I'm fuck? I'm a fucking idiot? After the task, you drank industrial strength dishwashing liquid. <laughs> Don't fuck with me. I'll kick your goddamn ass and then I'll spit my w fucking washing up liquid at you. And why am I dizzy? I don't feel right. It feels like I'm part of my brain is missing. Like I'm I am a toaster. I am a toaster. I oh. Am a toaster. Oh no way, rave toaster. <laughs> I'm a toaster. He's <laughs> just a toaster. This character's been acquainted with a toaster before. Feeling dizzy with a headache. Toasters don't get headaches. I'm a good toaster. Fuck, my head hurts. Where am I? I should be... I've been so confused lately. Oh my god, I keep... I keep shifting in and out of the toaster sphere. Hey, you old fucker. Do you remember what you did after last task? I drank washing up liquid. Are you willing to reobserve the test subject? Listen here, I ain't gonna do shit no more. Just kill me now, you bastards. Fuck, my head is gonna explode. Shit, God say Okay, yeah, I'm going back. I'm gonna look at the toaster and now I'm gonna, like, fucking fill myself full of bread or plug myself in or, I don't know, stick a fork inside myself and die. I am a toaster. I am a toaster. I shouldn't be like this. I should be. I am a toaster. I am a toaster. I should be a toaster. Why am I a rave toaster? Do you have anything to report? Come on, man, I'm broken. Broken? Your doctor wants to know how you're feeling. I'm definitely broken. I don't think I can toast any more bread. What a fucking tragedy. Do you have a screwdriver? <laughs> oh, no. Please, no. There's something seriously wrong with me. Do you need to go to the clinic? Open the door. I need to be fixed. Oh my god, bread! I'll try to toast this bread. That way I'll know if I'm really broken. Come here. Come here, let me toast you. You have been toasted. This is bad. Oh no. <gasps> Shit! They're onto me! You'll never take me alive, not without my bread! Oh my god! I'm it! You come near me and I swear to god you're getting more than toasted. Stay! Away! This is ridiculous. All these bread people. You will all die. And then I shall I shall make you all into toast. Stop everything now. <laughs> DO83, we can kill you now. 
I'm broken. What are you? I'm, I'm not a good baby bear toaster. I can't toast anymore. <laughs> but, yes, I can I fix myself. I am a toaster. Oh, fucking Jesus, really? Oh, my lord. <laughs> After previous observation, experiment was interrupted. Claimed he was a baby bear toaster and suffered from internal damage. He requested repairs on the way to the clinic. Uh, he behaved aggressively and attacked the guard with a lethal weapon. He cut open his abdomen and claimed there was breadcrumbs jammed inside. <laughs> Died of excessive bleeding. After conducting several tests with the Level D prisoners, the Foundation has determined that SCP-426 causes severe mental harm to humans. I feel like I would have fucking caught on to that after one test. <laughs> Did it really take three? Is that it? <laughs> Wow, I think out of all the uh, chapters so far, that was definitely the most powerful. Next comes the final choice. Oh Our shit. Door is in front of you. Matrix. One red, one blue. If you want to give up and leave, go through the red door. The past few months will have been like a dream. You will remember nothing after waking. And this road will end here. You go through the blue door. I didn't know the foundation gave a choice. And I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. Leave or stay. The choice is your own. There is only one right answer to this. More kitchen appliance anomalies, please. Oh, I don't like my new office. Good job, Carl. I'm glad you made it through. Have you ever felt like there were memories in your head and things you never experienced? Whispers of people you never met. Am I an SCP? These were not hallucinations. They're your actual memories. Carl, you are not a rookie at all. You are a member of Mega Five. A what? You always have been. My name is Marion Wheeler, Captain of Mega Five. Welcome back, Gardner Carl. Oh! Now, Oh. We need to talk about 55. That was 049. He's a really popular dude. He is cool as fuck. Oh my god, is it that? Okay, that's the end. <laughs> oh wow. Okay, that was... That was... First of all, that was really good. Uh, I really enjoyed it. It was very lovely. Obviously, not heavily gameplay focused, so I'm not sure if I'd call it replayable, but definitely a fun experience for people who are into like heavy lore of the scp universe right as of now i'd say this is probably like on top as like the highest quality scp game but i know soon the first chapter of a game called fragmented minds is coming out and that is this is a new scp game that has been quite highly funded it is now the highest funded scp game i believe and i am so excited for when that comes out because i am definitely going to be playing it and i i did play the demo but they've said it has changed a lot since the short demo well anyways that was brilliant i had a lot of fun my first series ever and i'm glad to have finished it so thank you for watching and i will see you later